All right, been a long time between videos. I apologize for the delay. Uh, I just want to get stuck straight into it. So I wanted to do a um, waypoints test. So I've done this location before. So I did, uh, I've done two uh, today where I go to the Lark Hill Sporting Complex and I also go down to the beach and something bizarre happens if you hang on to check that out. Um, it, it was very unexpected. I think I dealt with it quite well, but I, in the scheme of things, um, it certainly wasn't to be expected. So this is Lark Hill Sporting Complex. It's not too far from where I live. And uh, a number of open fields, a uh, very safe place to fire, especially during the week. Um, I normally take off from this little circle. I'll zoom in a second, about here. So that's all bricked up. I can take off there and there's not too many interruptions. The occasional dog, walker, uh, bicycle, that sort of thing. But generally during the week, there's not a lot happening. So my theory is I always do a little plan before I go out. This is at Lark Hill, obviously I know the area very well, uh, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, all the heights were in order. I say I think the lowest I go here is about 70 meters. So that's what about 240 feet, something like that. Don't get the maths. We're obviously doing the metric system over here. So yeah. Uh, that's Port Kennedy over that side and we swing around and you can check out there's Port Kennedy and a little uh, racetrack sort of training facility near a vet. That's over to Secret Harbour, looking all the way down to Golden Bay. Uh, Secret Harbour around the golf course and the primary school there. So there we are, like I say, it's, it's a nice, nicely spread out. There's not too much residential around. You can kind of do your thing, not worry about being interrupted. I did have my mate as a spotter with me today, so uh, did make for um, easier line of sight. Uh, as you can see, I'm just planning the uh, waypoints mission here. It is a bit fiddly for those with big, uh, big hands or fat fingers like I've got. So you kind of uh, have to press the screen. I've got the RC Pro. You have to press the screen, you know, often multiple times to get it to work. But once you get it to work, it's actually not too bad. It took me about 10 minutes or so to plan each of my uh, waypoint mission. Um, as you can see there, I start off at 70, go up to 110 meters in different patterns, focusing mainly on the uh, number one there, which in pink, which is the uh, the point of interest. So we'll uh, get going just in a second. You can see I just double check the mission, make sure everything's okay. And then I launch and we go straight to wait, uh, point one. So here we go, you can see I've got the uh, screen record on the left hand side as we're heading out towards uh, the reserve there. And uh, I did actually bump up the speed on this one from, it used to be about, I think two and a half meters a second, and I've bumped it up to around 10. So in doing so, it makes quite a fast, smooth mission. You don't have to worry about too much. You can see it's a glorious day. I mean, it is the best day. I, I love the uh, the weather today. It was absolutely brilliant. A little bit windy, but not too much to be worried about. Um, like I say, no one on the field. You can see there, it's close to nobody around, and it's acres and acres of of beautiful um, drone playground. Mate that was with me had his FPV, so we had a bit of a play with that as well. Got he's got the Avada, um, and you can see we're just got this uh, building as, as the point of interest. That was the number one on the map before. Um, and we're flying sort of sideways, keeping a look at that and keeping on course, which is difficult to do unless you've got the uh, waypoint set up. Again, it's sort of, I sort of snake in and out, something that I wouldn't normally do. And there we are looking towards Secret Harbour, uh, Golden Bay, Medora Bay, all the way down to Mandurah, beautiful clear day, beautiful and clear. And then we sort of sweep it back in and then back out and down the main road. And then we return to the home point. And after that, so we head to a new location, which is uh, uh, the Port Kennedy uh, boat ramp, which again, I've done a, a mission there uh, where I've planned an automated flight path up the beach, which was absolutely stunning. You'll see that shortly. Um, but it, we came across a, an, an error uh, not an error, it was probably either poor planning on my behalf, uh, but able to recover from it to uh, to complete the mission. But just hang on for that one, it's worth waiting for. Um, and so we're swinging it back around. This one here takes around, I think it was about five minutes for the entire um, 
plan, the mission, the Waypoints mission. So we're swinging back around. Again, we're moving at about 38 kilometers an hour, if I remember rightly. So it was all set to the one speed uh, at 10 meters a second. Brilliant, you can see we just, the, the quality of the picture on the Mavic 3 Pro is amazing. You know, really easy to do this sort of stuff. Just obviously have a reminder to uh, make note of the tallest object that's around the place. Like I say, I think I, I go up to about 110 metres here, um, which is about, you know, just under 400 feet. But I always keep in mind that we do have um, helicopters flying over, um, not, uh, you know, regularly, but, you know, we do have them flying over. So I keep in mind not to uh, do anything silly. Always keep an eye on it. And that's that mission over and done with. So you see, you know, quite easy from planning to execution. It all looks pretty easy. I uh, say 10 minutes, 12 minutes planning. When you get there, providing you know what you're doing, and I've been to this location a few times, you can accurately execute. Now on to the second location. Now the second location is uh, at the Port Kennedy boat ramp. Now for argument's sake, we've chosen the toilet. Obviously we didn't uh, film anybody in the toilet for obvious reasons. Um, that and it's not very good from the air. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is the uh, a bit of an over from Google overlay of uh, Port Kennedy. That's the sandbar out that way, and then there's the point. So the sandbar is quite good for fishing. You can catch uh, shark and and uh, the occasional mulloway, whiting herring, um, rays. Um, yeah, lots of different species out that way. I flick to the uh, mapping side of things, the satellite, just to plan it a bit more accurately. So one, two, three, four, uh, all the way out. And then we sort of tweak it around. I want to look at the sandbar. I think that might be a good little exercise. So I uh, put the sandbar there. Yeah, out we go. I've probably gone a little bit too far in the scheme of things as well. In, in, I, I didn't need to do that sort of distance. I did have my friend as a spotter there on the day, so it kind of made things a bit easier. But I went out, you know, further than I should have done, in, you know, that I needed to do in this particular circumstance. I really could have just gone up the beach um, a K or so with a spotter, but uh, it, was, it was about that, not too far off. Um, so we had line of sight on the drone at all times. We weren't flying over residential or anything like that. It was all along the beach and over the waterline. You'll see shortly I actually move all the uh, points to over the water so that we don't have any, um, you know, um, not flying over any people, obeying CASA rules at all times. Uh, obviously this is filmed in Australia. This is Port Kennedy uh, Beach in Western Australia. Um, and you see on there, my height is mainly at uh, 50 there. I think I do change it to be slightly higher later on, but I think I went up to about 80 or 90 max uh, meters. So we kept it fairly low um, in this particular, there you go, up to 80, 88 over the sandbar. And then we can start from there. So a uh, very safe, safe mission, not flying over anyone, uh, just wanted to test it out. So again, I've done this, this is my, my third time using uh, the waypoints. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, it's just something that I, I like to try and have a play with just to see uh, if I needed to use it that I'd be familiar. So here we go. And we are off. So we launch the drone straight into the waypoints mission. You can see it's a gorgeous day. Absolutely gorgeous. I go to this beach regularly to fish, uh, and uh, very rarely do you see it looking as magic as the drone, the Mavic 3 makes it look. It is a great looking beach, don't get me wrong, but this looks superb today. So brilliant, we're, we've, we're heading towards the point. You can see where the, uh, basically where the water changes, you've got from dark water to light water. That is the, uh, the point of reference for where the sandbar is. Um, and just slightly past that is what they call Betcher Point. Um, as I say, we, we, we wanted, in the mission, we were pointing towards the sandbar, or pointing up the beach at this point, and then we'll change our focus to the sandbar. And then the idea was to swing it back around, then focus on the jetty and head back towards the jetty. But something happens that made me uh, stop doing that. 
So uh, you'll find that out shortly with the errors that come up on the screen, on the screen recording in the bottom left. So as so we're focusing on the sandbar, and it looks quite cinematic when you get up to it. So as we're sort of flying up slowly, still, I want to say slowly, we're still going at 38 k's an hour or uh, 10 meters a second. Um, and we're heading towards the sandbar. And then you see we sort of start angling down as it changes its focus. And an error comes up on the screen, uh, say not in not too long a time, that basically says that it's flying into an airport zone, which I'm not, I don't believe there is a, an airport zone around there, although there is a military base uh, further around, but it's quite a distance from it. And like I say, I've flown there before without this sort of a warning. So, you know, a little bit concerning to what happened from DJI's side, uh, but it, like I say, it didn't, it didn't make me falter at all. So we're swinging sort of back around, looking towards Rockingham. Let's see, you can see that beautiful sandbar there. That produces a lot of good quality fish. A lot of good fish. Some people even surf it in the in the winter months when the swell's up. Don't see why it's not an amazing break, but I'm no surfer. And you'll see, I say, as we're pointing towards the sandbar, we're flying over Betcher Point. Uh, still focusing on that sandbar. And then we're popping over the water now, and you'll see, I say, I just have a look at the maps just to see where I am and how far it's going. Like I say, I probably should have um, maybe had, um, yeah, not cycled around so far. I was a bit concerned that I was going to go a little bit too far over the water. Battery levels were good, but you can see I'm getting slight signal interference, which is something I forgot to mention. I was just going slightly into the orange I was trying to keep uh, as close a line of sight as I could, um, but we were some distance away, still within spotter's uh, view, but it kept flashing between orange to white for signal um, you know, strength. So I was a little bit concerned, but nothing, nothing happened in regards to that. Still the RC Pro bulletproof. Love it. Yeah, so from there, it, it came up with an error that said that we were ent entering into um, like an airspace um, I forgot what the error says. I'll have to pull it up on the screen and I'll probably make a note of it in the text. Um, so I decided to fly it manually back. So I've, I've been to this location, like I say, hundreds of times. So I know exactly where I am. We had slight signal interference, as you can see it popping up, but nothing, like I say, that was blocking our path at all. So I decided to fly back manually and, uh, and where the... Uh, the responsibility of a good video, which I think I did quite well. I think it's, um, like I say, I, I, I did well to fly it back, try and keep a cinematic look for you guys as possible, um, and just to show what the Mavic 3 is capable of. So flying back, this is in manual mode again, just checking out the beach all the way through to the jetty. And like I said, they're doing a bit of development around here at the moment. So where the beach is beautiful, where you can see that development there. Further past that is another development, which is all new part of Port Kennedy, um, basically surrounding the golf course there, which they've done up recently as well. So it really is a beautiful area and very undervalued in the scheme of things. Uh, there's a lot going on here in this beach. Like I say, it's an amazing spot. I'm there often and uh, yeah, it's just such a great spot to hang out with your family. Uh, fish or, or uh, yeah, say just enjoy it. Uh, beautiful spot. Well lit at night, so very safe. The car park's nice and big. It's got toilets and barbecues and that sort of stuff for those that are interested. But as, as you can see, we're sort of flying back. Beautiful turquoise water. Still heading towards the jetty and towards the home point. But just, I say, keeping in mind that we are flying manually. This is no longer on the Waypoints mission. We had to abort that due to it being in a, um, you know, some sort of an airport zone that it was deemed. But like I say, I'm very aware of the area and, and there wasn't anything, you know, there's not a zone there for an airport. So I, I can only suspect that it was from Garden Island. And if that's the case, that's fair enough. I'm happy to abide by those rules. Um, it's all there for the right reasons. But we so we fly down keeping to the water's edge, and uh, then focusing on the jetty. We circle past the jetty, then we head to our home point.
All in all, so the waypoints is fantastic. It does sometimes require a bit of um, manipulation on the day. And like I say, if I was doing this for a client, I would most likely um, you know, edit it right there so that I don't go into that zone and then, and then reshoot. Um, it's not too much of a problem to do so, but as it was just a hobby mission, I didn't really have the inclination to go and do it again. There's the jetty there. There's a few people fishing off the jetty. You can get squid off the jetty, Taylor. Um, have seen people get salmon, lots of different species of fish. Um, you can see it looks absolutely stunning. What a day. And this is, I say, we're end of winter, start of spring. This is the sort of weather you get in Australia. Uh, this is our bad months. Uh, when it's summer, it's obviously, you know, so much better, so much hotter as well. Um, but, yeah, beautiful day. So that's all we've got time for. But like I say, the Waypoints mission, so much of a success. It does require a little bit more planning. You can't just go out and do it and expect perfect results. But I'm very happy with the results here. Uh, again, if I was doing it for business, I'd, I'd reshoot it and do it with what I had planned. But still very happy with the results of the Mavic 3 Pro and Waypoints.